So we're going to create this bracelet that just got bought from my shop on Etsy. And we're using check pressed last beads. So we're doing two varieties. They're both very beautiful and I got this a couple of years ago. They've been pre-washed. I always wash right after buying from the store. And then we're doing it with head pins or rather eye pins as you can see. The difference is this does not look like a nail. It's actually a pin with a, an eye. So we're doing it grocery style. We have our lobster clasp and the charm at the end of the bracelet. And I actually used some antique brass chain link here. Okay, so let's begin. So we're doing five of the flat beads. And then, let's see. How do I measure? So as you can see, if this is flat this way, I will do the next one the other way so that it does not end up unflattening. So we have this, hook it up, close the eye. Make sure that is snug at the end, like so. Tighten this. The next sequence is two of the fuchsia pink beads. Fuchsia pink, fuchsia pink. I just love this color. So we'll do two of these. One, two, and just repeat the sequence. So again, I flatten that. See, it's flat. And then I will cut this. How do I know how much of the head pin to cut? Uh, trade secret. Actually, it's just practice. You get used to it. Do this. And then I try to make it upright, right? So it's not all skewed everywhere so like i said we're going to do five of this and then four of the pairs these are gorgeous gorgeous check pressed glass beads um, and the store that i bought them from had closed it was one of those old time new york bead and um a little extra there that I want to cut off bead and crafting stores and they were really more about wholesale than retail when they were closing I was lucky enough to have gotten a lot of their beads on discount um, thing is these are rather hard to find now and Close again. And then as we go, we tighten the next because I see it's kind of open. And we do two more again. There we go. See? I did a very simple design with this. I didn't put any bead spacers because I wanted to focus on the beads. And I think um, sometimes bead, bead spacers tend to take up more length. And you want to do bracelets approximately at 7 inches to 7 and a half. And I still had a dangle. So it's a little tricky trying to keep the pattern going. So if I put if I put bead spacers, the tendency would be it would turn out longer. I wouldn't 
be able to use as many of the beads as I wanted to so it gets a little more difficult to put together sorry I'm I'm talking as I'm creating so it's a little maybe I'll narrate this separately see this one's open so we're going to close that One more pair. So I usually would like to send out a freebie 
along with whatever purchase there was from the store so i'm going to make earrings using the same um fuchsia pink bead there but a different check press glass bead for the top and i'm using um a connector actually but i'm using it as a bead spacer so bead spacers are important because they sort of give a lot of value to the design in terms of defining you know where, where the bead the beads connect and just really for aesthetic value nothing in in most senses so i i think that's pretty uniform so again this one used a head pin see so there's it's like a nail so i want to use this one because i want it to be a thicker because we're not using a chain to make it dangle from the connector here we're just going to put it into one of the holes but we want it to close properly so that there's room to swing that was the point of the design so we want it to be able to swing nicely like that perfect see so some people will use jump rings those are like the round thingy i try not to use too much of that unless i need it for the design itself in earrings because i just think it's not necessary if you're using enough wire or enough head pin and the things can connect without a problem so there you go connected and then let's see do we have them more or less same length um i lay them flat i don't let them swing i lay them flat and see and then you can connect them to the ear wire over here and because our design doesn't have a front and back it's not really an issue how it dangles so we do need to make sure if this pin is that way the ne the other one will be the same because then the round thing the round co connector will not dangle the same way so oh, oops see that's what i mean because there's a design here so we need to make sure we're doing it in the right loop and i think this one's pretty much there we did that let's look at the second second one would be okay so apparently they are all the same so they're facing the same way so which is good then you don't have to reconfigure again we need to make sure it's the top hoop or loop so that it's centered there you go and we close and make sure this closes now so there you go here are our earrings to match our bracelet so as you can see there you go there's our antique brass bracelet with a heart and the matching free earrings that i will send to the buyer don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification button and if you want to visit my shop it's at gothamchick.etsy.com Link will be provided in the description and hope you can join me for more of these jewelry making tutorials in the future. Bye!